Hey folks, today we just got done running the trap line and I'm getting two coyotes today and then we got this one yesterday. Um, game plan for today is we're going to show you guys a quick little video on how to skin them properly and then um, one of the next videos coming uh, will be actually finishing the product, finishing the coyote, uh, flushing it and putting it up on the boards and stuff like that. So today we're just going to walk you through the entire process from start to finish of skinning a coyote. So. Alright. First thing we want to do is brush it. We can show you that. Get all these sand burrs out of the coyote. I have this brush. What else works really well for this is a kitchen fork. Works really well. I've actually used uh, forks quite a bit. So, and this one has lots of burrs. She was. Definitely like them bushes out there. And now I've read the whole NAFA fur handling book. You can Google it, you can print it, it's free. It's freaking awesome to have. I have a copy of it over on my workbench over there. <coughs> and it goes through everything down to brushing the coyote. And what it says is when you're brushing the coyote, you don't want to get in real deep to pull these burrs out, to pull these burrs out, you want to just knead them out gently. Try to keep the the under fur from coming out too much. I mean, if you can see, you get a little bit of fur, but not much. You don't want to get in there too deep and end up pulling all the bunch of under fur out and having a patchy looking. Coyote, and me and Dave were just talking about this. This actually takes just the brushing takes about as long as actual skinning on a lot of the coyotes. They like to uh, they like to get in there and they can't get them all by themselves most of the time, especially up around their neck here. Oh yeah, you want to let him out? Yeah. Come here. And then you just rub and feel. This one was caught by a snare so I'll go all around where she was caught. You know, just kind of fluff it off a little bit. It ain't that big a deal because we'll, we'll brush her again on the board. But you, just, you can feel them in there, no problem. I already did the tail. The tails are always pretty bad. And right here, they seem to get a lot of them, right on the base of the tail, right on their back. So unsurprisingly, doesn't have one, or any. Alright, she looks pretty good. A lot better than it did before it was brushed. Yeah. Kind of ragged. Yeah. yeah. Which of course so, is uh, key for putting up fur and selling it too as you want it to look as, as best as you possibly can when you're presenting it. In the next process after the skinning, we'll go over more about that, but there's about a million different ways to wash a coyote. I've read and talked to NAFA, they say no Dawn dish soap, no liquid dish soap because it pulls natural oils from it. I use Tide laundry soap and wash them. Borax also works really good too and that's a nice nice to have because you don't have to get the fur wet then. You can just rub it in really really rub it on those bloody spots and then when you go brush it out it'll brush the blood, blood right out of the fur. So start by going Going along the legs up high. So these will get cut about down to here when it's all said and done. Down to because you don't want a lot of leg fur. They don't use it for anything. It doesn't look good when it's being presented and sold. So now after I go around the, the legs of the coyote, I come down. And I go, this is a female, 
So I will go behind, in between her two private parts. I'll stop there, and then, I don't know if you can see, but I went down that line where it goes from belly fur to back fur. It's two different colors. I go right down that line. I'll do the same thing on this leg. Come right back. And down. And I go right behind the female organ there. <laughs> Whatever you want to call it. <laughs> so. And then skin up my legs. <laughs> Fair, everybody. You got watched out. Oh, the legs are pretty easy, so we're not going to show you too much. Once you get it started, you just pull. There's actually two spots. One on the back here. There's like a tendon right here or something. Just cut that out, and then you keep pulling. Front, same same deal. Just cut a little, and I keep pulling on down. Okay. So that's about as far as I'll go with that leg for now. And I'll do this leg. I'm sure we can do some editing magic to speed this up. There, go lay down. Fine. Dave's getting them all riled up. <laughs> we got three female coyotes in here, and he goes a little, goes a little crazy for them. He gets a little randy. He's never been neutered himself. So. So I just got that started, like just a little bit. So I'll grab it and just pull that down. Find those spots to cut here. See, and I just cut a little pole. So, skinning any animal, you keep if you keep pulling on it, it just makes it that much easier in the skinning process. So now we got them down to there. I'm gonna go around the vent hole, cut it out, and then I I split the whole tail down, all the way down to the very tippy tip. I know guys use tail pullers and all that, but when I learned taxidermy, that's how I learned to do it, and that's how I like to do it. So, I mean, if you're confident with your tail puller, by all means. But I'm not. I never use them. Never have. So, I'm always worried I'll pull the whole tail off, and I don't want to do that. Because it won't look very good when it goes to the fur market. So, I just go around. That hole, and I'll just skin out the back of the skirt here. You know, and don't be afraid to don't you know to get meat on the on the hide. I mean, that'll all come off very easily during the flushing process. So I never get worried about that. I see where you guys were. side and we'll do this side see I got it opened up down to about the vent hole small cuts you know I mean I'm by no means Mr. Speed Demon when it comes to skinning I'd rather you know there's guys out there that can freaking do coyotes in a matter of minutes I'm not one of them but I do my best never to get any holes in them. That's my main concern when I'm skinning out any animal. And coyotes are probably one of the harder harder animals to skin out because they've got a little bit thinner skin. And like a raccoons are you know they're pretty easy they go quick. So now I don't know if I get a shot of this but we're gonna go from where I started the cut in the vent hole 
straight down the tail and be careful, don't cut your hand open. So I just take my knife, start splitting it, and I use this hand, grab the fur, pinch it, and you can just literally see it's pulling apart as I'm cutting it. I'll show you why this method is why I like to do it this way. It's all stiffened up a little bit on me. I had it <coughs> hanging since last night. I just didn't have time to skin it out yesterday. Checking the trap line in the evenings now. <coughs> so, which a lot of guys do. I'm not, like I said, little little cuts, you know, half inch, inch at a time. That way you get a nice, even, straight cut all the way down the tail. These coyotes got bushy tails, you know, like a fox too, or they got a bushy tail. Fox actually might even be a little harder to skin than a coyote because their skin's freaking paper. You can pull too hard on them and you'll rip it right apart. I have a skinning machine here that we're going to use. And... I actually don't even use it on Fox because they are so easy to tear. Alright, we're at the very tip of the tail here. So I just take my knife and start to see it coming out there. the tailbone right there. Bingo. All right. And then, oh, sorry. Pliers. Now, when you're doing this, be careful. Pull a little bit. Grab up high again. Pull a little bit more. And then just move my pliers up so I don't rip to tip of the tail off and I just keep my thumb up high because if you keep pulling down here you're just going to pull the tail right apart it's going to pull right in half get it up to there and there's around the vent hole just get it down a little bit more here Move it higher, lower for coyotes. 
that pretty much needed at the lowest point because my garage just isn't tall enough. Clamp it down tight. Now, if you do it with a skinning machine, and it's your first time, go slow. Pull a little bit at a time. So now this is the front of her. I'm just going to take my knife, cut that right out. So that's her female anatomy. And slow. You, know, you can always cut a little bit as you go, that's what I do. I'll tuck the front legs in. Because if they get hooked right here like they're starting to, it will rip. Done it. This coyote's a day old, so you know it's not as easy to do than a nice, fresh, warm coyote where you can just pretty much pull them off with your hands. Then I got my little arm tool here. All right, just work that through like that, right between her front leg. Give a little pull, go to the other side. Same deal. Give a little pull. Okay. Now with the front legs, you really don't need to save much at all. And this is for, you know, if you want a wall hanger, maybe you want to save more, I don't know. But this is for the fur market. This is going to get sold at NAFA. So, go right up down to about past the elbow on the front leg. And then I'll just cut around, cut that out. Boom, that one's done. So right here, you can see that's an ear, that's an ear. Your knife, cut straight through it. This ear, cut straight through it. Just like so. Skin that away. Now, I use the ears because you can pull. It would, Dave's told me he has had trouble around the eyes. If you pull and just keep pulling, it makes it much easier around the eyes. So I just put my finger in the ear. The eye is right here. And I'll just slowly cut. And there's the eye. So I'll cut that. There's the mouth. It's starting to come out. We'll do this eye. So, and now, once you get the eyes open, there's a little bone right here. Try to get your knife on the other side of it and cut straight back, and then your eye, you don't tear it. We'll do this eye, just like that. If you're pulling hard, you can almost see when I cut, it just starts to kind of pull down with it. You don't even have to really cut, you just put your knife up against it. <laughs> So, and then, now that I got the lips open, I'll use the lips to pull. And 
don't worry if you're selling on the market don't even worry about the lower lip I'll show you what we're going to do with that so now I'm coming down to the nose here I'll skin a little bit of it out you know some of the cartilage a little just a little bit and then I'll just cut the nose off so now we just got the lower lower lip now they don't need it straight off Now we have skin coyote with one hole from the bullet from a 22, which I can show you. I can even find it. Because I've heard guys say, "Well, you can't shoot with a 22 hole right there." About the size is that it. I mean, it ain't. You can barely stick a pencil through it. Yeah, not very noticeable at all, for sure. So you can see how bloody and nasty. This coyote still is. You see how you missed a bird here. So what I do personally is wash them and dry them, which yeah, it takes more time. But I've done borax, and I actually just like the outcome of the way the fur looks better. Well, I think your checks also show that uh, doing it the way that you're doing it, you're gaining higher average than the majority else of the sold. It takes longer, but at the end of the day. The way fur prices are, they suck. And anything you can do to get a few extra bucks out of out of your hard work, if you ask me, it's worth it. Um, the way I look at the fur market is all it takes is one or two buyers. They get in a bidding war, and you have the best fur up there. You're going to get the most money in your pocket. So. Always try to send the best as you can and hope for the best. I know me if, you know, I just love to get something for it because I love doing it. So I'm glad I don't have to do it for nothing. Yeah, okay. Well, so there you have it. Um, skinning basically from the beginning to the end. Uh, if you have any questions at all, uh, post them in the comment section down below. And then uh, definitely I'll forward them on to Bill and he can answer them if, uh, you know, if I can't. and. Uh, We'll definitely get back to you as soon as we can with the, you know, whatever your questions and concerns may be. So, thanks for watching. All right, we'll kill some coyotes. I hope we get some more this weekend. <laughs>